Hi there and welcome to our next video on the digestive system. In this video, we're going to be having a look at what the digestive system is, the organs which are involved, absorption and the functions of the organs involved and where some of the products are produced. So let's get started at looking at what the digestive system is. So the digestive system is a long tube which runs from the mouth to the anus. So it runs through the whole body. So it runs through the whole body, okay? It consists of several organs. As we know, an any organ system consists of several organs working together to digest and absorb food. So the function of the digestive system, if we write it down now, is to digest and absorb food okay and each organ is adapted to perform a different function which we're going to have a look at later in this video so over here i've got an image of the organs which are involved in the digestive system at the top over here where the mouth is we have the salivary glands the long tube which goes down to the rest of our body this is known as the esophagus we have the liver we have the gallbladder we have the stomach we have the pancreas we have the small intestine which is inside and the large intestine which is outside and we have the anus right at the bottom so just remember people tend to get confused with the small intestine and the large intestine we are going to look at the functions of each of these organs later in this video but just to tell you the small intestine is the inside part and the large intestine is on the outside so the small intestine is on the inside and the large intestine is on the outside okay so digestion is completed in the small intestine the soluble food the food which can pass through which can be absorbed or broken down in water passes through the small intestine wall into the blood and this is called absorption so the soluble food it passes from the small intestine into the blood so the blood needs some nutrients so it gets it through the small intestine wall where the nutrients the soluble food pass into the blood and then those nutrients are carried to the rest of your body to give you stronger bones to help you grow and many other things as well and this is called absorption the blood transports the products of digestions to the body cells so the healthy products are collected by your blood okay so just to summarize again absorption is the process by which soluble products of digestion move into the blood from the small intestine and you might want to note down that definition so now looking at some of the organs in the digestive system, we have them over here in a table. So we have the salivary glands. The function is to moisten food um, and it has enzymes to digest the food and the adaptation is that it produces saliva. The esophagus has muscular walls which make it strong um, and it moves the food to the stomach by the process name is there but you don't need to know that. For GCSE, you just need to know that it moves the food to the stomach. The stomach has strong muscles, produces hydrochloric acid and produces enzymes. Now enzymes is a topic which we are going to look at in a later video. And the function of the stomach is to mix food, kill the harmful microbes and prefer, provide the optimum pH for the stomach enzymes and obviously to digest food. The liver produces bile. We're also going to have a look at bile in another video, but just over here, you need to know that liver produces the bile and bile is an alkali substance, which means that it neutralizes the stomach acid. So again, 
it neutralizes the stomach acid it's, it is stored carbohydrates and it emulsifies fats we will look at all of this in a separate video the gallbladder is a small bag like structure and it stores the bile so as you can see bile is produced in the liver and it is stored in the gallbladder okay the pancreas produces the enzymes and provides enzymes to digest food in the small intestine the small intestine produces enzymes has a large surface area and it digests food absorption of soluble food the large intestine has special cells to absorb fluids um, and absorb water and it solidifies waste and the anus is a strong muscle which releases the waste these are all the organs the digestive system contains so organs of digestive system okay these are their adaptations and their functions are over here now to end off now how the products of digestion are actually used so glucose is used for respiration to make new carbohydrates again our body needs carbohydrates fats proteins and the fruit veg we need all those uh, vitamins for our body to stay healthy so glucose is one of the products which are produced from respiration and glucose is used to make new carbohydrates amino acids are synthesized built into proteins in the ribosomes protein synthesis is catalyzed by enzymes fatty acids and glycerol are used for energy so you might think why why do we need fatty acids well we need them for energy to build cell membranes and to make hormones so we need glucose, amino acids, and fatty acids, okay? Glucose produces these carbohydrates, amino acids produces these proteins and these fatty acids, um, and glycerol, they give us energy, build our membranes, make our hormones, okay? In our next video, we're going to be having a look at digestion in a bit more detail, and then in the video after that, we're going to be having a look at some exam questions. But for now, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. And one last thing, please subscribe, hit the like button and the notification bell.